What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and today we're playing some KSP. We're taking a third try at the ICBM aerial launch, the LCAAL ICBM air launched intercontinental, yeah, something like that. So I've, because I've got tweak scale now, I actually redesigned the 747. So if you have tweak scale, you can download this in the Dropbox down below. If you don't have tweak scale, I highly recommend it because it's awesome. I was finally able to shrink the engines down a little bit to make them a little more appropriate scale. Uh, I was able to upsize a couple of the wings to make the wings look a, just a little more natural. Um, in the last video, a couple of you commented that the wing placement was off. The wing placement is just because of the, the center of gravity, lift, weight ratio thing. You know, I don't build these things to look absolutely perfectly accurate. I build them to fly. <laughs> so with that said, I don't know if this thing's actually going to fly yet because this this is basically the first test. Uh, so let's uh, let's crash this fucker. Shadow away. I'm going to let the engine spool up. That really does not look like a lot of fuel, but we got about 500 units. Anything hidden anywhere else? No, okay, we got about 500 units of fuel. Which is great. That should be great, now that I think about it. How fast is it ticking down? Oh. Oh, that's really quick. Okay, basically, I think we have enough fuel to do the launch. I don't think this thing... It might have enough to come back and land. I don't know. We're going to gather up some speed, doing about 200. Let's start to rotate. Wow. Is that as nimble as I think it is? Let's just, let's do a lap here. Hold on. I'm just going to gather some speed. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. It <laughs> flies like a jet fighter. That's hilarious. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's go into first person. Okay. Okay. We're crashing. We're crashing. We're crashing. Wow. She flies really clean. Wow. Okay, so you guys gotta fly this. This thing is awesome. Like, it's actually, like, ultra nimble. It actually really wants to flick around, even though it's, like, huge. This thing weighs just a boatload. That is too funny. I completely forgot we were um, low on fuel. Okay, we've only burned 50 units. Let's begin our ascent now that we've done a victory lap around Cape Canaveral. Unintentional victory lap. She looks a lot better. Like, she just looks cool. It looks like something you'd actually see at an airport. If KSP were, you know, not fictional. We have a crew of four. So what we can do is transfer crew. Let's take Foline. Stick her in first class. There we go. Oh, cool. She's got pretty much the whole row to herself. The whole, the whole, I can't see backwards, but it looks like we got the whole first class compartment to ourselves. Nice. Hopefully uh, dining service comes around soon with some drinks. I bet you in first class, they actually give you the whole can of Coke. Not just the stupid little glass, you know, the little plastic cup. Fucking assholes. Okay, so, uh, yes, let's, we got to get some height. We've got very little in the way of speed. Obviously the, the, the weight is starting to affect our our climb. Oh, that's way too steep. Way too steep. Way... <coughs> way too steep. How are these engines doing? They're doing good. 127 units of thrust. If I remember correctly, it used to be like 300 something. So I've cut them down at least in half. And they do look, they look much more appropriate. That's probably a much closer scale. Maybe a titch bigger. I don't know. I don't know. I prefer them small to make the craft look bigger, you know? Okay, so we're only at... Shit. 4,000 meters. Doing 120 meters a second. Okay, so we're going to level out, and I'm just going to gain up some speed. 
We're actually descending, but that's okay. I want to be doing at least 150, 200 meters a second. Then we're going to pull up. Oh, we're in a nice holding position. All right. I'm just going to slowly start easing back. There is no slow with this. Thirty, hundred twenty, hundred fifteen, one hundred five. Lost a lot of speed, but we made some height. So we're gonna slow it down, get the nose back, start gathering some speed again. One of the the downfalls, of course, of having the smaller engines is this is becoming a lot of work because <laughs> we're carrying. If I can show you, we're carrying. No, I can't show you. I can barely show you. That's a giant orange tank with a massive skipper engine. See, so a big engine, big tank. We're carrying a lot of weight, and it's right in the back there. So we're being kind of hamstringed by that weight. Must be making a lot less thrust. 93, yeah, we're ticking down. So we're probably going to have to launch early, which is a real shame because I didn't want to have to do this. But, okay. We're going to level off. We're going to open the bay door. All right, we're in a nice holding position speed wise. All right, I'm not going to let the landing gear down. I'm just going to poop it. Let's do a quick save. Boop. We're going to move this stage down. All right, come on, poop out. Poop out. Come on. Come on. Drop that deuce. Drop that deuce. Oh, too hard. Trying to flick it upwards just a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right. Pop that engine. Why well, want the engine work? Awesome. Okay, we're in free fall. We're leveling out. Where's 90? There it is. Okay, we're starting to accelerate. Okay, I think it's twerking. I think it's twerking. I'm just trying to get that. Whew, I'm trying to get that prograde back to 90. Just so it's pseudo orbital. There we go. Close enough, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, let's see how far this thing can get. Where's our plane? How's that? How's that plane doing? Got a nice slow bank on. Didn't I just close you? There we go. Oh shit. That's what I did. Close. God damn it. All right, just gonna throttle back just a little bit, so it's staying in a nice holding position. Let's see how this guy's doing. Oh, okay. Apparently, when you when you look away, even though the SAS is on, I don't think the SAS actually continues to function. Or maybe it's because there's the parachute weight is only on one side of the craft. Like these things are affecting the aerodynamics, maybe. Probably. I mean, that's that's more logical than the SAS. Ceasing function. Alright, so we got half our fuel. Doing about 1,200 miles an hour. Doing about 1,500 miles an hour. Coming up on 2,000 miles an hour. We are hauling ass, but we really don't have a lot of height. Let's see if we can't bend it like Beckham. Get a little height here. Coming up on 2,300 miles an hour. Nice. So that is definitely intercontinental. But let's see just how far we can go with this. It's got lots of fuel left, about 15, 20%. So let's do maybe that. We're going to zip up here. Saying goodbye to the 747. It is probably dead. I think that I've been told in the comment sections that the game kind of just deletes it if it gets, you know, too far away. If it's way down in the atmosphere down there and we're way up here, 
it just poofs it. It's just gone. So we have to remember to revert to the space plane hangar, otherwise we lose Foline and First Class and the pilot and the scientists and all that stuff that was in that 747. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's looking good. Feels good. Working on that periapsis. Where's that peri? There she be. All right, there we go. We are orbital. So let's go all the way around. Oh, it's going to be kind of dark. Shoot. Yeah, I think that's going to be... Yeah, that's too dark. Okay, so we're going to pretend like intercontinentally we were launching from Cape Curb Navarro and we're trying to maybe hit the deserts of Kazakhstan. We have no, for the most part, we have very little in the way of um, the reactionary torque wheel. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. <laughs> so we're going to go right by prograde. Excuse me, prograde. Excuse me. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Prograde mark and begin our braking phase. Braking phase is looking clean. Had pretty much just enough fuel. Boink! There we go. Um, you know, one problem is we don't have parachutes. Uh, yeah, this is going to be violent, I think. <laughs> we have no heat shield. We're coming in at like 4,000 miles an hour and we have no parachutes. So I assume this is going to be a catastrophic explosion. The reason being is because, you know, we needed like a heat shield system of some kind, like a heat shield on the front, and then we could just spin it around. That probably would have been a good idea. But hindsight is always 2020. So descending through 50,000 meters, it's about 100,000 feet or so. Starting to get some heat. I'm going to take down the fast forward to real time. And what I should do actually is burn my last 40 units of fuel right here. That worked. That actually worked. I wanted to slow down a little bit to get some of that heat off. Okay, that heat is cooking up. Sorry, I'm zooming in. I'm trying to see this tiny, tiny little heat bar. They should really make that a little bigger. Or what they should actually do is give you like a standalone heat manager. Like, your engine is at 90%. Okay, it is right about to pop. Oh. It got up right near the maximum, like 90%, and then just instantly just faded right away. So that was that was a close one. Um, bummer. We have no way of actually slowing down. So, again, this intercontinental ballistic missile would be it would have like a warhead on it like the system up at the top here would be like the nuclear bit so this thing is essentially doing its job by hitting the deserts of kazakhstan here it would create a massive fireball that would kill all the yaks in the area there doesn't really seem to be too much out here kind of a weird area to nuke but you know you get you get the gist of the role play scenario here here we go We can pretend it's a huge fireball. Just picture a mushroom cloud right in the middle. Successful test. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. Is that, that, that plane's gone? Yeah, the plane's long gone. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked the video. I hope you comment, hope you share, hope you do all the things you guys do as YouTubers. And if you want to play this craft, which I highly recommend, because it actually, as a 747, it flew really well. It was a really fun fly. So feel free to download it from the Dropbox. Again, I hope you comment, hope you share, hope you like, hope you do all those things you guys do as YouTubers. I know you're going to do them because you guys are great. And until next time, guys, 
peace, love, cheers.